Hey guys, it's Crazy Honda Chris at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I'm currently outside a 2020 CRV LX. LX is going to be your entry level there for the CRV. Um, you guys can pause the video right here if you want to see some additional information on the Moroni sticker. It talks about the safety ratings. It talks about the fuel economy, where the vehicle is made at, and a list of features from that point there for you. Let's take a sneak peek up front at the front of the car. Uh, for 2020, they had done a redesign, kind of a refresh on the front bumper there. It looks a little more grounded, kind of aggressive kind of look to it. I think it looks kind of sharp. You're going to have a Honda Sensi now, standard for the LX package. You're going to have the adaptive cruise control radar. It's going to be right there for you. And you also have the camera up there on the front for the lane keep assist and uh, the forward collision magnetic braking. So that's kind of nice. So it comes standard with the 1.5 turbo now. No more of uh, that 2.4 four-cylinder non-turbo engine for the LX. Uh, it comes standard with the alloy rims there for you, so that looks kind of nice and sharp. You don't have to worry about them rusting. With the LX, you're still going to have the blackout handle, uh, mirror, and handles for you too as well. All right, uh, let's take a sneak peek here at the back of the vehicle. They changed some cosmetics there once again. It's going to be kind of minor things. They kind of smoked out the back tail lights, darkened up the chrome a little bit. Kind of looks a little nice from that point. Put a little down on the bumper too as well. Kind of additional color there for you. It's going to be a hydraulic gate. So you can simply pull that right up. Now what I like about the CRV is down below here, you're gonna have a spare tire with some insulation on there, makes it quieter for the ride for your passengers with additional tools you may need. All right, you're also gonna have a handle right here where you can simply pull that down. The seats come down nice and flat for you. So as you're kind of living life and you throw things in here, challenge accepted, you're good to go. There's no hump or anything, just slides right in, you're good to go. Okay, let's check out the back seat guys. What I like about the CRV is how the door opens up in that 90 degree angle, which makes it easy on getting in and out of. And that's a huge plus. You can have adjustable air vents right here for you. Plenty of space. You're gonna have your armrests. Bring that right down. Additional cup holders from there. So that's pretty much just the back here. Let's sneak up front, show you some additional stuff, okay? All right, let's open her up front. Now with the LX, you're gonna have manual seats here, guys, so keep that in mind. Higher trim levels will offer uh, power seating there for you. <clears throat> you're gonna have your mirror adjustments right here. You gotta slide the button all the way over, then change your mirrors from that point as you see fit. Uh, let's step right in. Now let's kinda look right here at the steering wheel. First thing you're gonna notice, you're gonna have all of your Honda sensing features right here. So that's gonna be nice. You got your lane keep assist, you got your adaptive cruise control, Simply just hit those buttons and you can adjust from there. Just make sure the main buttons hit, then you can see the green writing so you know it's available. So I do have an additional video to show a little more about that for you guys. So with the lane keep assist, just kind of hit the button. Once again, between 45 and 90 miles an hour, it keeps you in the center of your lane. Um, it's a great thing to have an additional peace of mind for your long journeys. Then you have your adaptive cruise control. So you can change the distance between you and the car in front of you as well. So huge perks there for you. I'm gonna have a hands free for your smartphone with your volume control right here at the steering wheel. And you have additional menu buttons. Simply just kind of push these here. You can select by using the D-pad. Um, you can see like your current uh, fuel economy you're getting, the range, all that good jazz right there. You have some additional buttons down below. You're gonna have your road departure, your vehicle stability assist that you may want to shut off if you ever get stuck in the snow, which may be unlucky, unlikely. You have your forward collision your neck break in. And then, you have your gas release and then your hood right down there. Let's check out the middle. Now within the middle, you're gonna have that five inch uh, display screen. Um, you're gonna have FM and AM radio, of course. And then you're gonna have Pandora. You can do Bluetooth. And then you're gonna have a USB port because you don't have a CD player with this, but you can download your CDs onto a flash drive. Um, you can have, depending on the size of the flash drive, anywhere from 50 to 100 CDs um, from that point. It's simply just a plug and go onto that you're gonna have your climate control everything down below it's kind of simple easy you got your fan your temperature and different modes your frosters on that now you have electrical perk and brake right here for you hold brake you have idle stop now that comes standard for the 2020 crvs if you don't like that uh, you simply just kind of click and hold this and you can see when it's on or off by that orange a right there so right now it's off and now it's back on so simply when the engine's up to temp the whole point of this is supposed to keep you uh, fuel economy friendly, save you some additional fuel, especially when you're city driving. So when you stop at a stoplight or a uh, stop sign, it partially shuts off the engine to save you some fuel economy. Um, you also have an econ button here. 
And you can tell when that's on by hitting that and there's a green leaf right here. It changes up the RPMs of your car, um, sacrifice some of the AC power and acceleration power to give you additional fuel economy. Once again, it's gonna be most effective on the highway. You can be looking from anywhere from uh, two to four additional miles to a gallon for you. Um, you do have a different couple drives. You guys know about park, reverse, and neutral drive. Then you have a sport and low gear uh, from that point. Uh, let's throw that in reverse. As soon as you put it in reverse, you do have a three mode backup camera. Uh, this little picture shows you what kind of modes it's in right now. So you have a wide view, so you can see the cars coming from the side. So that's going to be great, especially when pulling out on the parking lot. You hit that button again, it's going to be the right behind you view. And then you hit this button again, you have the straight down from your rear bumper. So that's kind of a nice three different options for each different situation there for you. All right. You have a USB charge port right there. Additional tray cup holders have not changed since 19 there for you. Now, what I like is that they've redone this, made it more simple, so it makes it more user-friendly for you. No longer a tray that you have to take out if you don't want to use it. You can combinate by pushing it kind of halfway open, or you can fully open it by sliding up there for you. Now you have room for like a purse, tablet, snacks, you name it, you're good to go. So that's kind of great. Now this does adjust two different you know spots there for you so if you need to adjust from that point all right so yeah guys this is the 2020 crv lx um hopefully i answer all of you guys questions if not drop a comment down below i'd love to hear how i can further assist you guys thanks